In this lesson, you're going to learn how to fly in the vicinity of an airport. There's a method to the madness of approaching an airport. It's called the traffic pattern, and it helps keep airplanes from running into one another. It has five major segments or legs. Departure, crosswind, downwind, base, and final. Remember way back in student lesson two when we talked about how important it is to maintain your heading and bank control? This is where it pays off. There's a lot to do in a very short time in a traffic pattern, which is why studying the ground school was so important. Let's get flying so you can see what I mean. We're on runway 19er at Bremerton National Airport. The traffic pattern altitude here is 1,500 feet. Your mission is to take off, climb to 1,500 feet, fly a complete traffic pattern, and then return to land back on the same runway. Okay, you've got the airplane. Slowly add power with the throttle and release the brakes. When the airspeed gets to about 55 knots, ease back on the stick to raise the nose a little and fly off the runway. Push the throttle in more. Okay, we're on the departure leg.
When we reach 1,100 feet, I want you to make a 90 degree left turn to the east, which is a heading of 100 degrees. When we reach 1,500 feet, level off and accelerate to about 100 knots. Turn left more. Okay, good job. Now we're on the crosswind leg. We'll fly this for about 30 seconds, then turn left onto the downwind leg. When we've reached 100 knots, pull the throttle back to about 2400 RPM. Start a left turn to 010 degrees for the downwind leg now. This will take us parallel to the runway about half a mile east. Slow down. This is the downwind leg. We'll fly it until we're just past the far end of the runway, in fact, about 45 degrees from it. If you look out your left window, you'll see that we're about even with the end of the runway. If you look out the left window, you can see that we're about 45 degrees out from the end of the runway. Turn left to start the base leg. Roll out from your turn on a heading of 280 degrees. Fly this heading until we're almost even with runway 19er again. Reduce power to 1500 RPM and add 10 degrees of flaps. Start a descent of about 500 feet per minute. Turn left to line up with runway 19er. Reduce the power again and let's slow down some more in level flight. When the airspeed reaches 75 knots, add another 10 degrees of flaps. This is the final approach leg. Go ahead and set up for a regular landing. Lower your flaps. You're too high. Reduce power. Don't forget to set the flaps at 30 degrees and remain on the glide slope.
We're almost there. Reduce power to idle, keep the wings level, and hold the nose just a bit above the horizon until touchdown. Nice job. Check that the power is at idle and press the period key to activate the brakes. Come to a complete stop on the runway. That's the traffic pattern. Fun, isn't it? A lot goes on in a short period of time. If you were to retract the flaps right after touchdown, set full power and take off again, this would be called a touch and go. Lower your flaps. 